Hello everyone, this is Mayang Sangvi from vlama.com and I'm back with another Android how to video and in this video we will learn how to add a button click listener using Kotlin programming language. For this video, we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. This is the demo which we are going to create in this video. For this, let's first create a blank project. So let me open uh, Android Studio. I'm going to click on next, next, I want to add an empty activity, click on next, uh, I don't want to change my activity name, let me click on finish, our project is created successfully, so let me open our blog post, in our demo app, we have three different buttons and one text view. We need to define an on-click listener for all these three buttons. In on-click listener, we are going to call three different functions. Inside on-click listener, we will call three different function and in three different function, we are going to perform different tasks. In our first function, we will convert our first button into red color and the second one in the green and the last one in the blue color. We are also going to change the text based on the respective button click. For creating all this element, we need to copy the code and this is the code for entire layout file. This is the code for activity underscore main.xml file. For personal, group or online training, contact us. I'm going to click on this floppy disk icon to copy this entire code. Then I'm going to open Android Studio. I want to expand app source main resource so layout activity underscore main dot xml i'm going to switch to text view and then i'm going to paste my entire code just here okay so in this code we have three different buttons and one text view next we need to edit main activity dot kt file for this i'm going to select java and this is our main activity.java file. Inside this, let me open my blog post and I want to copy this entire code. So let me quickly copy this entire code and then we need to replace this package name. So let me open Android Studio. I'm going to paste every I'm going to replace everything except the package name and then I'm going to remove this wrong package name okay so we are done with the changes for main activity dot kt file next before running our app it's time to understand our source code in our main activity dot kt file we are first creating four different variables in our first text view variable we are storing this text view then then we have variable for first button and of course we are storing this button in button one Similarly, button 2 and button 3. Okay, so two more variable, button 2 and button 3. We did not initialize it yet. We are going to initialize all this inside onCreate function. So this is our onCreate. So this is the default code created by Android Studio. Just after this line, we are initializing everything. So first line is for text view. Find view by id r dot id text view r id dot text view. You can find this id inside your activity underscore main dot xf file. So let me switch back to text view and this okay and this is our text view with id text view. Then similarly we are initializing our button r id dot button one inside our xml file. This is our button one and so on. We are initializing all the remaining button now it's time to add the button click listener this is the first method to define a set on click listener inside set on click listener body we are calling a function button click one okay and this is the function body inside function body we are changing the text for the text view and we are changing the color for first button Next, we have another way to define a set on click listener for our second button. So button two dot set on click listener object view dot on click listener and inside this we are overriding on click function and inside our on click function we are 
calling our second button click function button click 2 inside our second function again the same thing we are changing the text for the text view and we are changing the color for second button finally this is the last method to set a on click listener for button you can use the same method for text view or any other element to define a set on click listener so this is the method 3 and in this method 3 we are calling our last function button click 3 again in our button click 3 function we have text view dot text to set the text and finally we are changing the color for the last button and finally it's time to run our app our app is launched successfully so let me click on our first button need help the text for the text view is changed and also the color for our first button is changed then i'm going to click on second button and finally i'm going to click on the last button so in this video i shared three way to set on click listener for any element i hope you enjoy this video that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next android how to or android tutorial video some important rewards